Hello, sports fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to uh, start my 1997 out-of-the-park White Sox season, which is the fourth season in my 1994 White Sox playthrough. So, um... We will take a look at what my record is. Uh, let's see here. History, manager history. So you can see I'm coming into the season 263 and 223. And uh, that's a pretty good record. I, I've made the, the uh, playoffs two of the three years that we've already played as part of this uh, playthrough. And uh, that uh, that is where we are right now, as you can see. And it's not too bad. Um, my uh, my reputation, I think, is excellent. If you can uh, take a look, and uh, let's see here. Um, if we go to available jobs, yes, yeah, it says team control your reputation rates as excellent at the time, and that also shows up in the, um, in the, uh, let's see here, front office, staff roles, personnel here you go so there you go my reputation is excellent and um the general man everybody else is kind of average except for our hitting coach uh, who has a good reputation and um so i mean yeah as you can see the organization looks pretty healthy here um and let's take a look at the the home screen and no uh, that's not what i wanted let's see here um front office so yeah you can see we've got a big market size we've got a very big fan loyalty and fan interest is at 100 which is as high as it can be and um Let's see, I think that I saw that, uh, yeah, the staff cohesion is ecstatic. So we got everything going in the right direction. Um, I'm just going to do a quick look at the, um, at the lineups and the uh, pitching before we get into the first game of the 1997 season. So we will... Uh, take a look at the lineups. Um, our lineup against right-handed pitching is uh, Nunnally in center, Jose Vizcaino at short, Ken Griffey Jr. in right, Frank Thomas at first base, Dante Bichette in le the left fielder, Ventura at third, Carlos Baerga the second baseman, Justin Talbot the DH, and Todd Hundley at catcher. And our lineup in general, and, you know, write this down, because when we start the Blue Jays game, I'm not going to go over the lineups again. Uh, not only in center, Vizcaya, it's, it's a lot of the same lineup. Um, Matt Austin is the DH in, instead of uh, the uh, other guy that was. And I've got Jim Weaver in there at catcher. No, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Let's put Hundley. We still want Hundley to be the catcher. So, um, yeah, so there's the lineup uh, against uh, lefties, and we'll look at the pitching rotation. The rotation will generally be Jack McDowell, Angel Miranda, Jason Bure, Wilson Alvarez, and Jonathan Giordano. Our rotation has gotten worse, I think, over the last, um, you know, since I started the playthrough. Um, the rotation is not the strong suit of this team. It's their lineup and the players, the uh, regular position players. So, um, 
we're going to have to outscore the pitching sometimes. And you can see the bullpen has Bruce Ruffin, Jeff Brantley, Chris Nabholtz, Chris Carpenter, um, Cordova, Arocha. That's not a great bullpen. So the pitching is going to have to, um, you know, the pitching is, well, it, it, like I say, it's just not our strong suit. So anyway, we are going to, with all of that having been said, we're going to get into what you came to see, and that is our game against the Blue Jays. And this is opening day 1997. I'll go down their lineup. You know our lineup. I just went over both uh, versions of it. And you can look at it here on the screen, too. But their lineup is going to be Roberto Alomar, um, Sean Green, Larry Walker, then uh, Carlos Delgado, Mickey Tettleton at catcher, Gary Gaetti at first, Devon White in center, Tickelar at shortstop, and Landon at third. And they're going to have Steve Avery going up against us. So, um... With that, we're going to get into the game. Um, so, yeah, let me... Uh, we're going to swing away. We've got Nunnally up, the center fielder for us. And did he just go deep? No, he didn't. He's going to fly out. So there's one down. First game of the year here, Jose Vizcaino at short. And he is going to hit it deep. He's going to give it a ride. No, he isn't. Not even giving it a ride. So, <laughs> two flyouts quickly here. And Ken Griffey Jr. is up. Jr. strikes out. So, that was quick. And we've got McDowell on the mound. Of course, you know, neither team has any set of statistics to talk about right now. And he walks the first guy he faces. And Sean Green is up. And then he walks Sean Green. So not a good start to our 1997 season. He does strike out Larry Walker, though. One down, two on. Carlos Delgado at first. Looks like that'll be a fly out easy. There's two down quickly after the first two got on board. And Mickey Tettleton, the Fruit Loop Man, strikes out. So he gets out of the inning unscathed, uh, but... Um, they did, he did allow two guys on, and uh, Thomas grounds out to first base. Dante Bichette is the batter. That's gonna now that is a ride, but it's still an out. Two down, and Carlos Baerga up, and Carlos Baerga is gonna ground out to first. So there is. Um, we're going to the second. We're going to the bottom of the second inning with McDowell out there again, and he pounces on that ball and throws it over to first for an out. Devon White is up. Not a power guy, but he struck him out. Didn't even put it in play. And Tichelar, Tichelar, I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, he's out. So he struck out two of the three there, and we go to the top of the third with Matt Austin, the DH. And he's going to ground out to short. Yes, he will. Robin High Ventura, and he is going to ground out to first. Two down. We don't even have a man on base yet. Todd Hundley, the catcher. The catcher, our worst hitter, gets a base hit. All right, well, Hundley is aboard, and Nunnally is up, and Nunnally is going to ground out, and we are going to be out of the third inning. We go to the bottom of the third, where he will be batting with Danny Landon, his number nine hitter. And his number nine hitter gave that ball a ride, but it's a fly out. So there's one down quickly, and Jack McDowell is pitching to Roberto Alomar, who ground... No, he got, a, he got a base hit. So Alomar is aboard, just like he was in the first inning, and Sean Green looks like he's going to get aboard, too, just like he did in the first inning. So those two guys have been a stick in our side, and Larry Walker... Larry Walker. And that's going to be an out. McDowell gets the man... 
Going from first to second, fielder's choice. There's two down. And Carlos Delgado is up. And he's going to rip a base hit that's going to score the first run of the game. And unfortunately, it's going to be for the Blue Jays. But that brings up Mickey Tettleton. We got to get Tettleton here. Let's get him. All right, so it is one nothing Toronto as we go to the top of the fourth inning. And uh, Jose Vizcaino is up. Vizcaino is going to fly out. So there's one down quickly. We still don't have any, but I mean, Avery is pitching a perfect game, I think. No, he isn't. No, I take that back. Tettleton, or um, not Tettleton. Um, our catcher, Hundley, got a, got a base hit. But he's the only guy that's reached. And Thomas is going to take it deep and tie the game. Thank you, Frank Thomas. So we got a tie game at one with two down and Bichette up. And Bichette is going to ground out to short. So uh, Gary Gaetti is up. And Gary Gaetti is going to fly out. One down quickly. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Devon White, the center fielder. And he is going to ground out to short. So there's two down. And Tishelar is up. And it looks like he's going to pop out to the catcher. Foul out to, uh, to our main man. And so Carlos Baerga is the batter in a 1-1 game. Pretty close. Every All right, there's going to be an error on Alomar. You don't see that too often. But anyway, yes, Alomar makes a, uh, a one-base error, and that gives it to Matt Austin, and that's going to be a double. No, it won't be a double play. They don't turn the double play. They just get the lead runner at second. Ventura is up with one down, and he's going to fly out, and that is two away, and now Todd Hunley. And Todd Hundley gets his second base hit of the game. He's two for two. He's the only guy that can hit for us, though. Um, Nunnally is up, and Nunnally strikes out. So we are going to the bottom of the fifth. Um, 64 pitches for McDowell, so he should still be okay, but he walks um, Landon, which is not good. He's the ninth hitter. And we know the top two guys are always getting on, but they don't there. So Alomar does make his first out of the game and of the season. That brings up Sean Green, but he hits a he gets a base hit, stops the runner at third. I'm going to play for the double play, which we can hopefully get. But now he loads the um, McDowell loaded the bases. Delgado, let's see if we can get the double play. We can. Thank you. So it's still tied at one. We go to the top of the sixth with Vizcaino up. And Vizcaino is going to ground out to short. Going to be a lot of guys with bad batting averages on this White Sox team uh, after this game. Ken Griffey Jr. And he is going to be out. There's two down quickly. And Frank Thomas. He tied the game back in the uh, fourth inning with a home run, and here he walks, giving way to Bichette, and Bichette, did Bichette hit it out? He did, so that's going to be a two-run home run for Dante Bichette, and gives us a 3-1 lead in this game, which uh, gives way to Bayerga, now we're looking for a home run for Bayerga, to be quite honest with you, but he gets a base hit, that's fine, um, is Hundley the yet? Yeah, no, Austin. Uh, Matt Austin is the next hitter, but he strikes out. So we got a 3 1 lead going to the bottom of the sixth. Um, McDowell at 86 pitches probably isn't tired yet. And as I mentioned, we really don't have a very strong bullpen. So I want to go as far as I can with him. Gaetti is going to hit it deep but it's still going to be a fly out. So there's a man on with one down now. 
and he's dealing to Devon White, the center fielder, and strikes him out. There's two down, and Tishelar, the shortstop, is up, and it looks like he's going to fly out shallow to center. So we have a we have a three to one lead. We're in the top of the seventh. Ventura is up. I'm going to keep. I'm I'm not going to warm anybody up. I'm going to try to get McDowell through the seventh, and um, it helps that Ventura leads off um, the top of the seventh with a double. So we've got Ventura at second with nobody out. And Todd Hundley, the catcher, who has been having a great day, and he continues to. He's going to not knock in a run. I'm going to hold him. I can't chance it. There's no outs. And this offense should be hitting better than it is. So Nunnally, we're going to hope Nunnally can get a base hit. And he can. So he drives in that run. I wanted to make sure at least I got that guy on third home, and I did. So it's 4-1, to one and Vizcaino up. And Vizcaino is going to knock in a run. At least one. So let's see what we got. Is it 5, five or 6-1 to one here? 6-1 to one would be great, but it is 5-1. to one. And uh, Ken Griffey Jr. is up. So now we're hitting like we're supposed to. David Need is on for him. And he's going to ground out to first. So... That's one down and Frank Thomas. And he walks Thomas. So Dante Bichette is the batter. We've got a chance to really break this open. But we're not going to. So that's a fly out. It is five to one, though. I think I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Jack McDowell will be dealing to land. And he's at 100 pitches. I think he can probably get through this. Well, Landon's going to get his way aboard on an infield single. And we're going to just pitch to Alomar. And uh, that was, he was trying to bunt. So we got the lead runner. We didn't get the back end of the double play, but at least we got the lead runner for the fielder's choice. Green is up, and they're throwing down, and they don't get him. That is going to be Alomar's, obviously, first stolen base of the year. We're going to, it uh, looks like Thomas will make that play. And we have two down. McDowell is at 112 pitches. He'll be getting tired pretty soon. This is going to be his last inning for no, no matter what. But Walker knocks in a run and makes it 5-2. to two. They still say McDowell's okay, which is good. Did we get him? Nope. So Walker stole the base. And that should be an out. And now I will warm somebody up in the uh, bullpen. Because we are going to need relief pitching. Next inning, I'm going to get Cordova up. And uh, Carlos Baerga, the batter. We've got a 5-2 to two lead, three-run lead, which is good. And Baerga leads off with a walk, which is also good. Matt Austin up. Matt Austin's going to strike out. Ventura up. Ventura is going to strike out. <laughs> and Todd Hundley. Todd Hundley has been having a day. That guy's having a day, but he grounds out there. And we are... You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to let him pitch to the first guy and see what happens. And that is an out. So there's one down. Let's see if he can get the next out. I mean, I want him to get as many outs as he can possibly get before I bring the relief in. Okay, he got the first two outs. Now I will go to the bullpen, and we will bring in Cordoba. And Cordoba is going to get him out. So, yeah, the third out. And uh, we got a three-run lead that we're taking to the top of the ninth with Nunnally as the batter. And he gets a base hit. Ventura. 
Vizcaino is up. And Vizcaino is going to rip a base hit. So we got the first two guys on with nobody out. <clears throat> I'm uh, looking forward to this offense playing like this all year. So uh, we got an out at second base. But we still have runners at the corners with only one away. And Frank Thomas, big Frank up, the big hurt. And he's going to knock in the sixth run of the game. And that brings up Dante Bichette. Uncle Dante is going to fly out on a great play by the left fielder. So we're going to keep Cordoba out there. We got a four-run lead. He only threw one pitch, so he should definitely be okay, although he does let a home run go out from Tishelar, which is probably not a good sign. Danny Landon, the third baseman, is up. He strikes out. There's one down, and it's 6-3. We've got a three-run lead. Alomar, the batter, and he is going to get a base hit. Those top two guys in the Blue Jays lineup, Alomar and Green, have been a thorn in our side. And uh, But he's going to ground into a game-ending double play. Green does. And so that's where we are. We're 1-0. and Nice. I'll let you take a look at the box scores here. Um, we were 11 of 39 at the plate. And we've got some guys doing really well. And then we've got some guys like Griffey Jr. that need some work. Um, McDowell went 7 and 2 thirds, allowed 6 hits and 2 earned runs. Well, walking 5, which isn't good. And Cordoba went one and a third, got the save, and allowed only one earned run. And so, with that, uh, oh, yeah, and let's see what happened here. Uh, we lost Giordano to AAA and Ann Carpenter to AAA. They brought up Garcia and Ignaciak. So again, that's that's the downside to not being the GM is he can do this kind of stuff that makes no sense and there's nothing I can really do about it. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.